Welcome, I am John Lira, and I want to give you a very short power center example. And the issue here is how do you write custom messages to the session log file? Many people have asked, how can I write my own corporate messages, my own messages to the session log file? Here it is, a very simple technique. Now, this is a sample mapping to read data and filter some data and write it out to a target. That's whatever logic you want. The technique or the trick is to use the Java transformation and to have a valid mapping you gotta have an input coming to the Java transformation and some output connected to a target. So the technique is are these mappings down here, the Java and a target. We don't read the target is artificial, but we need it in order to have a valid mapping. What makes this work is your Java transformation. Again, any input coming in and any output coming out. And let me go to the Java transformation and show you the Java code. And as you can see on end of data, essentially all I've, all I've done, let's see if I can stretch this further. All I've done is using two techniques. The log info, which is the uh, function call that will write this message out. And this message will be sent out to the session log file. Another way is to invoke the system.out.println, and again, this will also write a message. Two different ways. Log info, log info is, in my opinion, a bit more optimized and better performing than, than the system.out.println, but both will work. So again, that's my mapping. I validated it, and then what I do is go create a workflow. And again, the workflow you've got to configure as normal. But remember, I'm just creating a dummy uh, 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 pipeline that has the Java. So I do have to put out a target. And this is just a dummy file. It doesn't matter where it goes. It's just to have a valid mapping. When I run this, I go ahead and start the workflow. And then the monitor goes ahead, succeeds. And I'm going to get the session log file. And here's a log file, and I'm going to search for my name, which is part of the message. Look for John anywhere that it occurs, and you see that there it is. There's the first message from the Java transformation info, and notice it's type info, John Lira. The, the second one from the print line is a debug message, and there it is. So two different ways. Now, of course, your will be more elaborate having a segment of messages, but essentially that's all you've got to do. And that concludes this nice demo. And very short, and I'll end again. The secret was in the Java transformation and in the code using the log info or the log info or the system.out print line. Thank you.